Hi everyone, my name is Winston Lee, and I'm a product manager for IBM API Connect. Today I will be talking to you a bit about our analytics capabilities within API Connect. Analytics is one of our key capabilities that allows our customers, our users, to gain insights into the health and the success of their overall API businesses. This allows you to achieve, inform, and set both short-term and long-term business goals. I will also be diving into a short demo of the capabilities right after showing you a couple points about our analytics capabilities. Analytics allows you to gain insights into your API business. This allows you to understand who and what is driving my API business. When I package this API product, did the packaging make sense? Did the plans that my consumers can subscribe to make sense? And also understanding the health of the API business. What are the average response times of my APIs? Was there a specific peak during a given period when my API was published? Analytics also allows you to drill down and build custom queries. These custom queries have hundreds of parameters for you to zoom into in order to understand the health of the API business. Additionally, you can build out custom dashboards to share and to address a specific reporting and visualization needs. There's no one size fits all in terms of a visual representation and there are various stakeholders that you would like to share information on your API business with. This allows you to do that. Also, offload any of that usage data to external systems such as Splunk or SAP that will allow you to do a longer term analysis and or to satisfy any internal audit needs. Now we're going to dive into the demo portion of this video. We are entering the API Manager user interface for IBM API Connect. And here you see an organization specifically dedicated to the partner ecosystem of a cloud division. In order to access analytics, we need to go ahead and access the individual catalogs of our API business. Jumping in, now we see a development catalog dedicated to our cloud division. We access it and there's a dedicated tab here for our analytics. These analytics are separated into three individual tabs. The first tab has to do with discovery. Discovery is exactly what it implies, being able to sift and search through different elements of the metadata associated with our APIs and the traffic in order to better understand our business. We're going to go ahead and jump into discovery of response times. As you can see here, there are dozens of fields and or parameters that allow you to further analyze what's going on with your API traffic. You can go ahead and add each one as needed. Scrolling up, we can analyze in a list view what went on when, with what API, with what API product, with what application, what status code was yielded from that API call, and more. We're going to go ahead now and dive into our visualization tab. Visualization allows you to, based on who you're representing the data to, choose the type of representation for that appropriate persona. We're going to go ahead and dive in to the visualization of our response times. This will be depicted via line graph. However, you can depict data in any possible way using this visualization tab. This line graph visualization allows us 
to look at individual instances and individual nodes over a period of time in order to better understand what is going on. The next tab that we're going to discover is the Dashboard tab. Oftentimes, key stakeholders want a quick view of what's going on with their API business and already know what data that they care about. That's what the Dashboard capability is for. This allows you to import and export customized dashboards for individual personas within your API business. We have a default API dashboard that allows you to see various things such as your status codes over a given amount of time, various errors that subscribers encountered when making calls against your API, analytics on minimum response time, average response time, and maximum response time for these API calls, as well as response times over a linear representation over a given amount of time, the number of calls made over that period, and the number of calls made over a period per day. You can also drill deeply into the graph by clicking at the individual nodes. Thanks for joining us in watching a demo of the IBM API Connect analytics capabilities. You can find out more on IBM's Knowledge Center or check out our IBM community for more information, as well as a bumbling community of folks and practitioners answering your questions about IBM API Connect. You can find both links to the Knowledge Center as well as the IBM community in the description box below.